Today, we will be doing addition. Addition means adding of two things. As I've told you, I have these placards in my hand. So I'm going to take, I have some placards in my right and I have some placards in my left. So let us count how many placards I have in my right. So I have one, two and three. I have three placards on my right hand and one, two, three. Three placards on my left. So I would like to see how many placards totally I have. So shall we count children? So it is one, two, three, four, five and six. So I have totally six placards in both hands. So now we are going to do an activity wherein it will make addition even more simple. So I have small charts with the numbers written on it. So in my first chart I have number 2 plus 2. So I am going to put these small pegs on the chart. So in the place of 2 I will put 1 and 2. So for number 2 I am placing 2 pegs and on the other side I am having number 2 and I will place 2 pegs. So 1, 2. So I need to know how many pegs I have totally. So on this side I have 2 pegs and on this side I have 2 pegs. So shall we count the number of pegs totally? So it is 1, 2, 3, 4. So totally I have 2, I have 4 pegs. So 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 gives me 4 pegs. Now in the next chart I have 3 plus 3. So I am going to count 3 plus 3. So I will put 3 pegs over here. 1, 2, 3. And the other side I have number 3. So I will be placing 3 pegs in its place. So 1, 2 and 3. Now we want to know the answer 3 plus 3. So just by counting the number of pegs that are clipped onto the chart I will be able to find out the number of 3 plus 3. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 6 pegs that is clipped onto this chart. So 3 plus 3 gives me 6. So I have 6 pegs on this chart. On the next chart I have 1 plus 2. So I am going to place on this side under number 1 I will place 1 peg and under number 2 I will place 2 pegs. 1, 2. So now we are going to find out what is 1 plus 2. So if I am going to count the number of pegs, I will arrive at the answer. So 1, 2, 3. So I have 3 pegs that are clipped on to the chart. So this gives us number 3. So 1 plus 2 is number 3. So I have 3 pegs. So are you interested in this? Do you like this activity children? So we will move on to the next chart. So here I have 4 plus 5. So I am going to place 4 pegs on this side of the chart. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. And on the other side I am going to place 5 pegs. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So now I want to know what is the answer for 4 plus 5. So just by counting the number of pegs that are clipped on the chart, I will come to the answer. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9. So 4 plus 5 gives me 9. So I have the answer number 9. So 4 plus 5 is nothing but number 9. So in my next chart I have 4 plus 4. So now I want to know what is the answer for 4 plus 4. So by using these pegs I can clip the pegs to the number and find out what is the answer for 4 plus 4. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4. And under number 4, again I am going to place 4 pegs. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4. So to find out the answer what is 4 plus 4, I just have to count the pegs that are on the chart. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have 8 pegs which is nothing but 4 plus 4. So 4 plus 4 gives me 8 pegs or the answer 8. It's nothing you could even count with your fingers. Say for example I have 2 plus 2. So I am going to count 2 plus 2 is 1, 2 plus 2, 1, 2. So I am going to count the number of fingers that are up. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4 which gives me the answer 4. This addition I am doing using my fingers to count. The next is 3 plus 3. So 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. So I am going to count all the fingers that are up. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 which gives me the answer 6. So 3 plus 3 gives me the answer 6. The next is 1 plus 2. So 1, 1, 1. So when I add up all the fingers that are up, 1, 2, 3, it gives me the answer 3. So 1 plus 2 is 3. The next I have 4 plus 5. So I'll take 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 fingers and 5 fingers and when we add up it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That gives me 9 fingers and the answer is 9. 4 plus 5 gives me 9. The next is 4 plus 4. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So I just add up all the fingers that are up. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That gives me the answer 8. So 4 plus 4 is nothing but 8. So we could either use pegs or we could use our fingers to do addition. There is another method wherein we will see how to do addition with these numbers. Another method of doing addition is by using strokes. So when I'm going to add the numbers, for example, 4 plus 3. So I will put 1, 2, 3, 4. And for 3, I will put 1, 2, 3. And I will add all the strokes and arrive at the answer. So it is 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 which gives me the answer 7. So 4 plus 3 gives me the answer 7. So next is 6 plus 3. So I will write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. So I just have to add these strokes. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It gives me the answer 9. So 6 plus 3 is nothing but 9. 7 plus 1. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 1. So I will add 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो सेवन प्लस वन गिव्स मी द आंसर एट सो दिस इज नदर अनदर सिंपल मेथड ऑफ एडिशन सो नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव ऑन टू आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आई डू होप इट इज इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सिंपल एडिशन